What's going on guys? Mem here. Welcome to another video. This video is a uh what do you call it? A <laughs> Damn, what do you why can't I think of the word? A um crap. I can't think of the word right now. An update. Why did it take me so long to figure that out? It's like an update video for my crappy little RTG which is awful. This the this isn't the first game with uh Meza Ertzel. Uh I used Ertzel at the start of the game. I picked Meza Ertzel. This is the start of the game. No, it isn't the start of the game. I picked no, yeah, I picked Meza Ertzel as the third player for this RTG. His gold card, because if he gets a special card before I pick him, I'm not allowed to use him, and I really wanted to use him, so I picked him now just, in, just to make sure. And something else I want to uh, say is, well, this I, this isn't actually this is just gameplay of. Ertzel's first game classified as an RTG. Oh. And yeah. I, this is just a voiceover of the gameplay of the first game of his RTG career. With Balotelli and Fear Walker. At the end of the video I forgot to update. Show what, how many games and goals Fear Walker, Balotelli and Ertzel. No, Ertzel I remembered. Uh, but I forgot to show uh, Phil Walcott and Mario Balotelli. So, at the end of the video, I'm going to screenshot them and I'm going to put the screenshots at the end of the video. So, yeah. <clears throat> and as you can see, it's not it's, it's isn't too bad. He scored the first goal for me. I am currently playing 3-5-2. 3-5-2, yeah, that's the one. Because, well, I did an icon pack, I got Ian Wright base. Because I did the icon swaps with the base on mid icon pack. And, yeah. Well, what can I say? Except for that's what it was. And... So, because I wanted to fit Ian right into the team, and I have to get Ertel into the team now, I went five at the back to have Ian Wright, Balotelli, two strikers, Ertel, Cam, Phil Walker, right mid, Insignia, left mid, Lamb, and Lampard, center mid, uh, CDMs. Then Chiellini, bought a Vidic, and bought mid Vidic, and uh, Rafa Sorez, the left back and center back. I only have him there because in game I switched to 4 3 3 4 uh, with Lamb left back, Sorez right back. And, well, yeah. Ian Wright is a center mid, Ertzel and Cam as well. <clears throat> Probably should put Ian Wright as a Cam, Ertzel and center mid in that, but, you know. I want Ertzel to be up there in the attacking midfield bit. Problem is, right? I don't want. I don't know what formation to use in game, because I also you. Because I yeah, I use four three three four. If we go defensive, if we stay balanced, there's three at the back. But I don't like three at the back, and four three three is not really working for me at the moment. So I don't know what formation to go with where I can fit in. Phil Walcott, Insigne. Not Insigne, Phil Walker, Ertzel and Balotelli. Those three I need to fit in. And then, yeah. Ian Wright can just go on the bench, to be honest. He's pretty good. I'll just use him as a sub, bring him on. But at the moment, it's probably best for me to do some stuff like go for the back. But here's a little updated rule set for you before I get into that little... BS. <laughs> mm. No rule set update is that in the first video I said there's not going to be any chemistry. I'm not going to be able to link in 
if I pick Theo Walcott, I'm not allowed to pick an English Prem player at all. I've actually changed that to if I pick Theo Walcott, because I did pick Theo Walcott, I'm not allowed to pick anyone to do with England or the Premier League. So, I can pick Turkish League and Italy with Mario Balotelli. In the first rule set, I couldn't do that. But because Theo Walcott was the most recent one at the time, I picked Ertel. Now, Ertel is the most recent one. So, I can't pick German or Turkish League anymore now because of that. You get what I'm saying? The most recent one can't overlap with the one I'm about to pick. Urza with a nice little sulky movement. Two star weak foot though. Two star weak foot, four star skills, three a wall got three star skill. No. Yeah, three star skills, two star weak foot. Balotelli's a four star, four star. I believe that is the correct things for that. I think Balotelli and Urza are medium low, and then Walcott's medium, medium. But don't know what formation to go with. Put a comment in the wait. Yeah, leave a comment on what formation I should try. Because four three three four not really working. Three at the back not really working. Yeah, I've been struggling. Struggle town, you know. Because three at the back, I was mostly in. I was mostly three at the back in this game. Also that. Screwed him over, but you know what? I'll take it. But Walcott doesn't really be played as much while he's down as a right mid, which is something I've realised. Even though he's on getting behind, I'm balanced. I'm thinking of trying four-two-three-one with wingers, like actually staying as the wingers. I am thinking that. Don't know if I will, but I am thinking of doing that. Let me know if that's a decent idea. Because I can stay in free at the back as the main thing, have my left back on 7 chem as a centre back, and then switch him in. Because, well, Chiellini, Vidic, and Strike, er, uh, not Strike, centre backs. Left back will be Lamb. I'll put Lamb down to left back. And um, Rafa Soros and right. Oh no, Lamb down to right back. Rafa Soros from as a left back, so I'll put him in left back. You know, and um, yeah. It's half time. It's two two. Ertel's been pretty decent. The team overall, as you can see, what it is now. Not too keen on. Don't really like three at the back. So. Well, actually, that's not necessarily true because I did like a three at the back at some point. Cause I had Rafa on like seven cam, eight cam, uh, three, four, two, one. The one with left forward, right forward. That was pretty good actually. I really enjoyed that one at the time. Now it's just not. But yeah. And at the moment, yeah, four, two, three, one wide, maybe, maybe four, one. 4 2 3 1 narrow could work. Walcott's a right cam, it's on center. I don't know, I've never really been too keen on narrow for. The only narrow formation that I ever really liked was 4 3 1 2 or the 4 1 2 1 2 second. 4 triple 2, I uh, don't really ever. I rarely ever like that. 4 2 3 1 uh, narrow was my FIFA 19 for a lot of the time, and after that, I just hated it. I never went back to it. Balotelli, Balotelli, and yeah, it's just like, I don't know, man, I don't know, it's weird, I'm not too keen on most formations, 4-3-3-4 four, three, three, four started working for me, and then it just stopped pretty quickly, so I don't really know what formation to go with next to try out. I hate five backs, so I'm not going to go five back. I'm not really enjoying three backs, so I'm probably going to go off the three back. So, hmm, I don't really know what to go for. The only thing I can think of is a four-two-three-one wide, maybe, or that's literally the only thing I can think of. Unless I go four-one-two-one-two one, two wide. 
put Lampard, CDM, Alarm, and left back. Ertzel, Cam, you know. That could work. I could try that out. I just don't like the rivals on this game. Yeah, he gained momentum. Uh, even if he didn't gain momentum. my goalkeeper, That goalkeeper, tier 15 Portuguese storyliner. Pedro Teixeira or something like that. 83 rated. It's dog shit, honestly. He's one of the worst keepers I ever used. But he's like the only keeper to use right now because of the fact that Rafa Soares is in centre back. To be fair, I could also put Tomori in centre back. Play Tomori as a right back could work. It could work. Might not. Probably won't. But I can try it. I might try it actually. Then bring on Rafa Soares on right back or left back, whatever. I thought that went in in the middle of the game. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that went in. Vidic in corners is pretty, pretty, pretty decent. He scored a goal for me in the corners. At the moment, I have 60k and I'm planning on buying another icon. I don't know who or what or where or who yet. But if I get the coins, I'll probably buy another icon, to be honest. Just because, well, I like icons. Icons are fun. But because of this RTG I'm doing, the only time to realistically to use icons is at the start of the game. And well, I'm I'm allowing to I'm allowed to bring on icons off the bench whenever I get the full uh, non-rare RTG team. I am allowing myself to bring on the icons because I'll have quite a few. Also, screw this guy for just doing that with Marquinhos, just stay in there crab walking. That's what ruins the game, man. People doing that. It's bo so boring, you know. So boring. So annoying as well. But yeah. To be fair, Ertel did score this game. Balotelli scored this game. Phil Walker hasn't been scoring lately. He's played a hundred and something. I think hundred and one. And then uh, he's scored forty nine or something like that. You see what I mean? This Pedro Teixeira is awful. Two of his goals, literally, he was easy saves, but he just screwed it up. He just bounced off him into the goal. Taking off, bringing off Rafa. Here's where I switch. This is what I mean when I have Ian Wright as a centre mid. He is on get forward, but and it does work to be fair. Well, they did work at some point. It did. Not anymore, but it did. That's all you really need to know. But yeah, I need to really realistically use a formation with wingers because of the fact that well, I don't have to use wingers. I don't have to because I could go switch to four one two two second. Put Ertzel, Lampard, Senemid. No, Lampard, CDM, Ertzel, Senemid, Walcott, Senemid, stay wide, maybe something like that. On Sinye, then yeah, two straight. Ian Wright really screwed me over. I was really hoping for a winger, mainly left wing, to replace Insigne, or centre back. Like, so I bought Vidic instead because I didn't get centre back. Okay. It was the icon swaps, which I live streamed doing the last icon swaps I needed to do, which took about two hours. If you want to go follow me on Twitch, because I'll be doing live streams every once in a while. Not necessarily on FIFA all the time. It'll be multiple games. If you want to go follow me, it is Chosen Feather 45, capital C, capital F, uh, no spaces. If you want to go follow me on Twitch, there you go. Uh, I'm mainly going to be doing FIFA on a Monday, uh, Call of Duty, or any game with a gun on a Wednesday. Then Friday will be a racing game. This week I haven't done Call of Duty and FIFA was on Tuesday because of icon swaps. So I was waiting till the, the last batch or something like that. So I screwed up this week so I'm not doing the Call of Duty stream and then the racing stream I'll still do on Friday. Which would be tomorrow for me because it's currently Thursday. I just opened my rival rewards and it was awful. It was fair. I did get an inform to be fair. It was like 78 but... It's an inform, it works for SPCs. Better than buying them for goddamn 20 odd K. And yeah. Uh, after that, there's not really much else to say, realistically. 
Ertel seems pretty decent. I've given the updated rule set of that. Uh, oh wait, what I haven't said is I am going to be making two separate teams. Balotelli in both, but one team which follows the original rule set of uh, no one's allowed to link to each other. You're not allowed to pick them. Because if I get the entire team uh, and then someone else plays 100 games, I'd have to pick someone else. But because everyone's already been picked, I can't really pick anyone else. So I decided I'll concept the second team with players I always used to love using, so on and so forth. Um, and with that, I will have a second team for if I just want to have a second team. You know? Because if if the main team isn't working, I'll switch to the second team with no chemistry, no links. Everyone is in the correct position. There's just no one linking to each other. No one's from the same. No one overlaps the league and nation in the second team. The first team I made uh, has a hundred chemistry. If everyone is converted into actual uh, positions, I'm not going to show off that team until I complete it. So it keeps you guys in suspense to what the hell my team will be at the end of the game. Because, oh god, it's going to be awful. Unless there's a flashback Ertl or flashback Balotelli which comes out. Other than that, uh, I'm not realistically, I'm not going to get any special cards. I just hope none of these guys get special cards until I get them into my team. Because I, cause I picked Ertl out of all the players I had the option of getting because of the fact he's already got like 30 odd games 20 odd games because I yeah like I said at the start I used him in the start of the game when I had a full Turkish league team with Balotelli in it so I I still have that Ertel so I feel like it's only right to use him for the actual RTG bit because he's been here since the start because yeah might as well, right? Second, per second person I purchased on this account was Ertzel. Feel the need to use this exact card I had. I do have a hunter on him. I do, yes. Uh, I thought the thing froze for a minute there. It seems that the game. No? Okay, I thought I instantly went in to show the squad. But apparently I was wrong. Ian Wright's played 7 games for me now. I need to give Ertel 99 contracts. Like, feel walk on Balotelli. Because when he's run out of contracts then, I know that he's close to being the thing. But yeah, this is what he's done for me. This is the start of the game, and this is going to be the end of the video because there's no time left. So, hope you guys do enjoy, did enjoy this uh, little updated video. And yeah, leave a like, subscribe, all that crap. And... I'll put screen, two screenshots of Balotelli and Walcott, and yeah, see ya!